Let's uh, lift our spirits a little bit as we're getting you ready to honor Pops. As Father's Day approaches, there's a campaign inspiring and empowering fathers to be active and present in their children's lives. It's hashtag dedication. Kenneth Braswell, the CEO of Fathers Incorporated, joins us live this morning to talk all about the effort. Uh, Kenneth, we'll get to the positives in a second, but what's the downside here for children when they don't have a supportive and engaged father in their lives? First of all, good morning. Um, you know, the downside is evident. You know, we see it in many of the um, statistics in our communities, um, whether it is related to health disparities, um, schooling, um, self-esteem, emotional behaviors, all kinds of things, you know, show up in our children when um, dads aren't active in the lives of our children. On the flip hand side of that, when they do show up, goodness, those things soar through the roof. You know, in schools, our children fare better, they have more A's, they're less likely to engage in deviant behaviors, they're much more confident um, in their lives and in their struggles. Um, all kinds of things happen for them physically, cognitively, spiritually, emotionally. Um, dads, you know, like moms, you know, are the key to the emotional well being of our children. I hate to put a timeline on this, Kenneth, but more impactful for younger children to not have a dad in their lives or maybe teens and older children? I think that for younger children, you know, not having a dad in their lives, you know, that's a hard question to answer. But I think that it does have an impact because I think it is the continuity of being a dad, right? And it's the presence. I think that sometimes we engage in fatherhood in a way that we think things don't matter. And just because our child is six months old doesn't mean that they're not aware of our presence. They're not aware of our activity. So I think it might be just equal whether or not your father is not involved in the early stages of your life or any other level or area of your life. What's the goal, Kenneth? What's the goal here with this hashtag dedication is it, is it an awareness campaign or does it go beyond that the goal goes beyond that it's an awareness campaign it's also an encourager and it's also an effort in letting our dads know that we hear you that we hear your stories that we want to tell your stories that we want to inspire you that we want to make sure that you know that we know it's not hard it's not easy being a dad um, and that you don't have to have all the answers but we tried to create a resource in fatherhood.gov um, that they can come and find all the resources that they need and these PSAs are the narratives that we want out there so the fathers can be able to gleam and understand that they're not in, that they're not in this alone. I uh, I look at the way my my two young children. I got a four year old and a two year old. I look at the way they look at me, and um, my goodness, uh, the, the impact of my words, the impact of my presence, it, it's it's palpable. Uh, Kenneth, thank you so much for joining us here on Arc Las Vegas. And again, fatherhood.gov is the site where you can get all those resources available. We appreciate you joining us here on this Friday morning. Have a great weekend ahead, and, and a happy Father's Day there. Thank you, and yeah. happy Father's Day to you Thank as well. Thank you. 8.35 here, and coming up here on Arc Las Vegas, we're going to watch communities 